What's going on? It's your boy Tunnel Vision. We are back. We are back. It's early in the morning. About to get some work done. Hopefully, be done within three to four hours. Cause I don't like working. The faster I get things done, the better for my life. But anyway, yo, let's get into this boxing. Yo, Leo Santa Cruz. Um, he's fighting tomorrow for the vacant WBA championship. And you know what I'm saying? The uh, the old belt that um that Javante Tank Davis let go, and um, he moved up to 135. And obviously he's taking on um, whatever the hell he's taking on. I forget the dude's name, but um, he's taking on him, um, the number two ranked guy, Gamboa. He's taking on Gamboa, the rank number two ranked guy, uh, for the regular WBA championships and putting himself in line uh, to take on Lomachenko. About that, I know that you know they pretty much kind of made it clear that they won that fight in 2020, and I believe them on that because when it came to Tevin Farmer. Um, when it came to Tevin Farmer, they said as soon as that zone deal is done, they're making him an offer. And once that zone done the deal was done, they did make him an offer two million dollars, you know, a purse to fight on a pay per view on Showtime. And Tevin Farmer turned that down, and God knows what the hell he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, <clears throat> you know, when it comes to Leo Santa Cruz, um, you know, he's fighting for that WBA championship, and he has his eyes after that um, set on. Javante Tank Davis. Um, he said that Javante Tank Davis is going to be coming back down to 130, and um, he think he can face him at 130. But if he has to go up to 135, he'll go up there to 135. And Javante did say something about coming back down to 130, and he said he can fight them both. He's going to fight them both 130 pounds and 135 pounds, depending on where the, where the big fight is. Um, and people are like, oh, you know, why isn't he fighting Gary Russell? The guy that he should be fighting is Gary Russell. He should have just stayed at 126 and did a unification with Gary Russell. Well, he's not fighting Gary Russell, and he shouldn't fight Gary Russell, according to Gary Russell. He's following Gary Russell's advice by not fighting Gary Russell. He is. Because when it came to Tevin Farmer, um, Gary Russell was asked the question, like, yo, you're talking about maybe going up to 130 pounds and, and you know, and, and fighting for the WBC belt at 130 and getting that, you know what I'm saying? And Tank has moved up to 135. He's not there anymore. So the target that you would have had for 130 is no longer there. And, you know, you said you were talking to Eddie Hearn and things of that nature. So why wouldn't you, you know what I'm saying, after you get that 130, do a unification with Tevin Farmer? You know, because that would be a big fight. That would be a, you know, a fight that would really you know, make your unified champion if all this went through. And then you'd really start putting pressure on people. And Gary Russell's answer was that he would not fight Tevin Farmer. And he said he won't fight Tevin Farmer because financially it doesn't make sense. He said business-wise, it doesn't make sense that there's, quote, no money in it. That was his answer. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, let's take that philosophy and let's put it to... Leo Santa Cruz Let Leo Santa Cruz sit there What's a bigger fight for Leo Santa Cruz Gary Russell Who only fights once a year Who People don't see for 9 months It looks like he's gone into hibernation again Or Fight the biggest star in boxing uh, What's it called that's uh, 140 pounds and under Who's the biggest star around in that area? The biggest star in that area is Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis had two fights in a row when he's done like 14, 15,000 people fighting nobody, a nobody. You know what I'm saying? Tickets are selling like hotcakes for his fight in Atlanta. He's going to have 15,000 plus at that event. And he's doing 6'5". I think his last body did 600,000 views on Showtime and he only fought for two rounds. The fight before that, he did 500,000 views and he only fought for one round. You know, he has what, a million followers on social media like he's he's you know what i'm saying he has a huge following you got stars that actually go to his bouts so what's the big about gary russell or javante tank davis which is a bigger threat gary russell or javante tank davis he's actually targeting a bigger risk when it comes to tank that's number one and business wise business wise he's making a better decision He's going to make substantially more money fighting Javante Tank Davis in a pay-per-view than he would against fighting against uh, Gary Russell. And that pay-per-view is going to do 300000 plus. Yeah, I can talk all the trash that y'all want about Javante Tank Davis. They can say how, oh, he's not being promoted right, this and that. He's the biggest star when it comes to those weights. 
okay? He's bringing in the biggest numbers. He's bringing in the biggest gates. He's bringing in the, what's called the viewership. And that pay-per-view is going to do 300,000 pay-per-views. So if you look at it, you know, at Leo Santa Cruz's West Coast State of Mind, what's the, you know, what's, what's the best option for him to do? That option is to take on Javante Tank Davis using Gary Russell's philosophy. Okay? Using Gary Russell's train of thought, way of thinking. The best option for him is to take on Javante Tank Davis, especially if Javante Tank Davis comes down to 130. Because that'll be his second fight now at 130, and he'll actually be the WBA champion, by the way. He'll be the champion. Javante Tank Davis will actually be the challenger in that fight. You know what I'm saying? And it's a bigger pot. So, hey, Gary Russell can't say anything to this man. He can't say anything to this man. Because this man is following Gary Russell's philosophy when it comes to this situation. Like Gary Russell says... Hey, it only makes business sense to take on Tank. It doesn't make business sense to take on Gary Russell. Using Gary Russell's philosophy as pertained to Tevin Farmer. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.